the following is a passage from an article by late Sir Muhammad Zafrullah Khan Sahib, yes. published in the Review of Religions, December 19, uh, uh, 1984 issue. Yes. Uh, it starts. Islam has no church, yet the exposition of the teachings and the values set out in the Quran as applicable to the changing pattern of human life from age to age has not only kept pace with but has always been ahead of such change. I shall be most grateful if Hazur most kindly throw some light on the subject that Islam has no church. What is meant by the church here? Yes. <coughs> you know, in uh, every religion there are rites to be performed. Religious rites are to be performed in every religion. And uh, in most religions, those rites are to be performed, are to be led by some ordained people who are ordained who are permitted to carry out those religious rites after some training and some dedication by an institution of some sort. So when this worship or other the institution of other rites is institutionalized completely, this is called a church. In Christianity it is institutionalized. In Islam there is no institu institutionalization of any sort. For instance, if there are a few uh, Muslims together, they can choose their Imam and anyone can lead a prayer. If somebody dies, any can, anyone can perform the rites pertaining to the death. If a child is born, anyone can say the Azan in one ear and Takbir on the, in the other. So every rite which a Muslim is expected to perform is <coughs> can be carried out, can be performed by any Muslim who knows how to go about it. So there is no monopolization of religious rights whatsoever. In this way, in this sense, Islam has no church and Christianity has a church. But in other ways, there are specialist people who specialize on religion and who acquire a sort of religious authority which is not imposed on people as such through a church, but uh, who being scholarly people have uh, respect in the society from that point of view and also they are expected to uh, perform the rites generally more often than ordinary people. This got started in Islam as well quite early with the result that ultimately, though not officially, though not with the sanction of the Holy Quran, yet a sort of church came into being in Islam as well. And this Mullah Klaji, which has uh, taken the whole society into strong grip now, this is a sort of unofficial Islamic church. So no longer can it be said that Islam has no church. We should say Islam has no authentic church on the authority of the Holy Quran. But it has developed into a system which we can compare with the church in other religions. <coughs>